to briefly show uh, how you can do that, um, just mass dumping text, you go down here to scripts, go down to prompts from Tyler text file or text box, and I just do this. Say I want to prompt all of the women again. Boop. Make sure I've got everything. This this cell starts further left and it continues. It's the 8K UHG thing. As long as I have that, it'll have that whole cell. So there we go. So that's all the women. Control C. All right, and now I'm going to go in here. Let's see. Let's fix that. You, uh, for for this kind of stuff, you 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 get rid of that. Your your main prompt, but it will use the same negative prompt for all of them. Um, but uh, let's see. So prompt for Tyler text box. And then uh, I disconnected it just because I'm recording this after uh, the rest of the video. But it'll pop up here and it'll just be in a box, just like the prompt box. And you just go like this. You just go, whoop. And then there's 100 billion positive prompts. And then you can set your batch size. So if I say four, then it'll do four of each prompt. Then move on to the next prompt and do four of those and move on to the next prompt. And you can do, I did food the other day. Like I just had a list of foods that I wanted. And I went through and I made cool prompts for all of them. Um, and then I just dumped it in, hit the button, walked away for like three hours. And I came back and it was just like gorgeous uh, images of, of food. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, here are all the foods that I prompted. I tried to, I made my own, wrote my own list, tried to gather all the foods that I thought would be cool to have in a game for the, the tourism aspect of the AOCT. You're, you're experiencing, immersing yourself in these environments and stuff. Um, and this is for Knott's game uh, and for AOS. So it's like you're talking about modern stuff and you're also talking about medieval foods. Um, so you can't really see them. Really. It's not super impressive like this. But if I do this, dot PNG, and then I go to this view. These are all textures that I generated with Stable Diffusion just by hitting a button, um, and it generated all of them in one go. Um, yeah, it's like just kind of nuts. So these are all like condiments. You have plates and silverware. You have casseroles. Let's go down and get a little more spicy, literally. Um, yeah, I got veggies. You got uh, appliances. Let's see if I can. Yeah veggies, you got onion rings, carnival foods, 80s breakfast cereals, um, pasta, and uh, foreign foods, like Japanese food. And I, look at that. What a, look at that. Isn't that kind of nuts? Look at this. Looks a little bit like cat food. Um, but, you know, used correctly, this could be pretty cool on, on food. Do you think of, like, The Sims? Like, how they have, like, a bunch of different foods, and they all have, there's, like, a little flat texture on a bowl. You could do that. Um, just drop these on, like, a little Little, little flat plane inside a bowl or you could actually model these you know or you could use these kind of like uh, as brushes to make your own textures with um, you know, soups and corns and and some of them look a little weird because they're not quite real um, like what is this what is this <laughs> like, like a blue husk that's partial and around the I got yeah I know what it was I actually met, wrote a Python script using chat GPT to prompt I had it make once like a whole set that were the food and then a whole set were the food in its packaging so naturally when you say corn in its packaging you're going to get corn in a bowl or like a little box thing you're going to get it inside a little pouch you're going to get in another look at that <laughs> just open it up <laughs> eat the corn um and you're also going to get it like wrapped in plastic <laughs> in weird ways that don't make sense because stable diffusion is like okay it's you want corn in its packaging i don't know what that means but i'll make it you know um so that's cool. And yeah, using Python scripts, um, which again, I don't know how to code this stuff. I'm just learning by watching, like helping chat GPT make these scripts. Um, and it saves so much time. Even generating the folders to put these foods in. I had a list of categories in a text file. And I said, boop, generate folders from the list in this text file. It made all the empty folders for me. So I don't have to like name a thousand folders. And it's just, it's, dude, it's such huge time savers. Um, yeah, so you're getting some foods. Oh my goodness gracious, cotton candy, mm -hmm. eggs in its packaging, which naturally leads to like uh, eggs, in, where was that? There it is. Eggs in its packaging. Maybe. <laughs> nah, it looks looks like it must be a real, oh, sorry, it must be a real thing, I guess. And there it is, you know. Um, sushi and popsicles and pizzas and french fries. 
not a bad start for the texture sets. So this is how you can mass prompt these things. Now these all use the same negative text prompt because I don't know how to set that per um, uh, per prompt in the mass prompt. It's just like a list of positive prompts and then your negative text prompt up at the top um, in that thing. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. L let's look at one of the uh, prompts for these things. So if, let's say candy. Here's all it was. A top-down studio of uncropped, delicious, savory, bittersweet, crunchies, milk dud, A, photorealistic. Um, if you notice, I put savory in a lot of this stuff because it adds like a brown, moist, shiny texture to things. And, I, and I'm going for kind of a um, Studio Ghibli kind of like taking food very seriously kind of thing because it's such a big important part of things. So all of these candies are savory. And again, it's just the word that gets the visuals you want. It doesn't have to taste that way, you know, when you actually eat it in the game or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. Here, raw plant food. A top-down studio of uncropped delicious savory almonds. I don't say studio view anymore like I used to because view tends to like give you a weird framing. Of course, it doesn't really matter if you're using control net, which I wasn't for these. Um, but yeah, view will like give you these weird views, like where you're like kind of to the side and it's like not framed right and stuff. So I just take out view. So I just say a top-down studio of uncropped, and it knows a studio represents high-quality imagery. So it's yeah, so you get a feel for what it needs. Oh yeah, and I also want to mention that DDIM, which we're going to be using in this uh, video as well, um, DDIM gets really good results as a sampler with like 20 steps. Way better than like Euler A. This, is, this looks like Euler, but it's pronounced Euler. Uh, it's like a French dude who like did some mathy stuff back in the Dizzle. Um, so yeah, so that's the food stuff. And that's showing you how you can mass prompt things as well.